Good day everyone and welcome to this VMix GT title tutorial. In VMix 25 we've added the ability to change the color of shapes in your titles directly from VMix. That way you can customize your titles on the fly from VMix instead of using the GT title designer. So I'm going to show you how you can do that now. So here's a really quick example. So I have the big game title here, I have a home and I have an away section here. Now these have colored rectangles behind them. So let's say I want to customize my title with the colors of the home team and the away team. So I can right click and select the title editor. And then you'll notice that we have these new tabs up here. So if I go to the color tab up here, you'll see that I have the away and the home fill colors available to me to edit. So what I'm gonna do is just double click this color box here, change this to red, click okay. And as you can see, the away team is now red. I'm gonna select the home one, double click on this and select green. So now, as you can see, I have a home and away team in green and red. So now I'm gonna show you how you can set that up from the GT title designer. So firstly, we're gonna open up the GT title designer by going to the hamburger menu, or you could just search for it in Windows. So this is the GT title designer. This is where you can create awesome customized titles for VMix. And if you've got 4K Pro or Max, you can create awesome fully animated customized titles. All right, so I'm going to simply grab a shape over here. So you can use any of these shapes here and make the color editable in VMix now. So I'm going to use this rectangle here to create a large red rectangle. I'm just going to center that like so. And I'm just gonna add some text to it. And let's just make this a little bit more viewable. And I'll just align this to the center-ish. And then picks up the text. Okay, so now I have a rectangle here and I've got some text above it. So for the rectangle, if I wanna change the color on it, I need to select the rectangle. Then I need to go to the data tab up the top here and unselect hidden. So that will now be available in vMix. Now it's always a good idea to rename your rectangle something a little bit more recognizable in case you don't remember what it is. Because a lot of the times you can have a lot of different rectangles and a lot of shapes and that type of thing. So it's always good to label it something you're going to remember. Now I'm going to just save it. Okay, so now that I've saved my title, I'm just gonna head back to vMix. I'm gonna remove this title here. And I'm gonna go to add input go to title, and then I can just go to the recent tab here, which will save any sort of recent GT titles that I've saved. So this is my example one with the red rectangle. I'm gonna click okay. Now I can go ahead and add some text to it. I'm gonna say Tim, cause this is going to be my rectangle um, title here. And now for the color, you can see that I now have background, which was the name of the rectangle and I've got a fill color, which is red here. But if I double click on this here, I can then change the color and just to a beautiful yellow color. Now, as you can see, I now have a beautiful yellow background, which, you know, isn't that great. So let's change this back by double clicking on it, make it a little bit of a color that's going to display a little bit better. So there we go. We now have a blue background that I've been able to change on the fly. Now, the cool thing about this is, obviously you can use this in the presets as well. So I've now got my Tim preset with the hexadecimal background color. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add Kim and I wanted Kim's background to be, let's go with a green color. So now I have a Kim and a Tim, so I can add that as a preset, so I can easily switch between Kim and Tim with different colors, which is pretty handy if you wanted to do that. Now, obviously this is a very simple title. We've just got a single rectangle, but you could add circles, triangles, rectangles, all sorts of stuff that you could change on the fly. So the cool thing about this is it also works with the API and data sources. So I can reference this hexadecimal number for the color in a data source so I can make it change dynamically. So let's go for an example now. So I'll show you data sources here and I'm going to select an Excel spreadsheet that I have. So this is the really basic Excel spreadsheet that I have. And as you can see, I've got Tim and Jim here and I have these hexadecimal numbers here which represent a color. So what I wanna do is populate my title with these colors here. All right, so what I've done is I've loaded this up. Now I'm going to select column two and I'm going to select row one. And as you can see, it is now filled with that hexadecimal color. So when I click okay, it has now changed it to brown. So if I wanted to then go to the text and fill out my data source with the, uh, the name, 
go down to the column one and select row one and that's got Tim there. Click OK, so now I have Tim with the corresponding brown color from my data source. So as you can see, I've got Tim's name and then I have the brown color here. So those have directly come from my Excel spreadsheet. So that will work with data sources and it will also work with the API as well. Now, one final thing that I should mention that the color changing is for solid colors only. So I've selected the background here and I can change the color here. So a single color, or I can also adjust the alpha. This will not work for gradients. So keep that in mind. It's just for a single color change. So if we go into the title editor here, I can go ahead and I can change the color, single color here, and then I can change the alpha. Again, you can also type in your own hexadecimal code here or up in the top section here to change the individual color. If you want to learn a little bit more about creating awesome titles for your vMix production, definitely check out our other GT title tutorials that you can find in the description and link below. If you do have any questions about this particular tutorial, definitely send us an email via the contact form on vmix.com as we can't really answer technical questions via YouTube comments. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.